All right, this is a quick little video just to explain to you a little bit more about the PCB array calculator version 1.0 brought to you by BayAreaCircuits.com. So first of all, just a quick note, um, as you'll see in the notes below, uh, the optimum size, optimum maximum size for your array for pricing considerations um, is usually going to be 7.8 by 10.8. Um, obviously, your board may not fit well within that size, so um, you know you kind of have to adjust depending on what what your needs are. Um, but that's just a note on pricing considerations for most PCB manufacturers, at least for Bay Area circuits, and and others are going to have similar uh, constraints as well. So basically, the way this calculator works is very simple. You put in what you want your maximum possible array size to be. So let's say we put in here 8 by 10. And my parts are going to be possibly maybe 1.23 by 2.45, let's say. Now you can put um, these any way you want. Um, as far as the part dimension goes, the calculator is going to automatically rotate those to get the best fit. So you don't have to worry about which field you put those in. You can adjust where um, the array dimensions are uh, to get um, some possible different variations. So, But we're going to go ahead and leave the default settings here of tab route, um, rail size of half inch, all four sides with quarter inch tooling holes, fiducials, and mouse bytes. We're going to update the image, and there you have the updated image. So now if you actually um, run your mouse over it, you can kind of see in detail where the tooling holes are, fiducials, you can see the tabs, we automatically put the tabs in on one on each side uh, and add your uh, uh, little mouse bytes there you can see as well as a visual display. So that's kind of the basic info and then this information right here in the center um, is kind of the key data that uh, most of your PCB manufacturers are going to need in order to actually um, go ahead and cam this job and lay it out for you. Now what you can do here is kind of play with this a little bit to say well maybe score would be better uh, than tab route. So um, let's change this to a V score and we're going to update the image. So that's what it looks like as a V score so you can see basically the same number up um, dimensions are a little bit smaller uh, but what if we put rails only on two sides instead of four? Let's update this image again. So now by putting rails on uh, just two sides, we're able to get uh, a few more pieces up there. So we're actually getting 20 um, total parts up on this array now. And then there's your dimensions. Again, it's going to keep it within whatever array dimensions um, you place in there. It's going to always calculate it. Uh, based on less than that. And that's pretty much it. Once you are uh, happy with the layout, you can click on email PDF, put in your email address, you can enter in your part number, any other additional notes can be added here as well. and click on email. That's going to generate an email that's going to be sent to you with the PDF file. And there it is. And we'll open that up real quick so you can see that. And there's your PDF. So there's your drawing. shows the layout. has all your key specs right there. And then uh, has down at the bottom your part number and any additional notes that you might have for it. So that's it. That's the uh, PCB Array Calculator. Uh, hope you uh, get a lot out of it. If you have any questions, uh, you can just uh, jump on our live chat and uh, ask us. Uh, leave a comment below. And uh, always welcome to uh, send us an email or give us a phone call. We'll be glad to uh, help you out with uh, any questions that you have on the Array Calculator. Thanks.